Hello everyone and welcome. I'm in my new space. Yay! It's a little echoey in here, but it's all good. Yay! It's exciting. And uh, we're going to get started with some more Summer Carousel Horse. Got that ready to go. And uh, we're going to be switching over here in just a moment. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Kaya Ariana, or Kaya for short. And I do cross-stitching and various other things. In the next couple of weeks, once um, my husband and I get settled, we are going to move away from cross stitch and do other crafty, painty things. So, and even maybe some Lego streams. Yay! I'm excited. So we're going to go over to what we're working on, which is right here. Got more summer carousel horse, and I don't even remember where I was when I left off. But we're going to be moving forward. So exciting! I'm so excited. And let's see, I think I cut some flaws for what I was going to do next. Yes. Let's see. This is where I figure out exactly where I am. <laughs> yes, there's flowers now. Yeah. Hi, Bun Knits. Thank you for the host. I appreciate that. Yeah, there's flowers now, and I'm trying to remember exactly where I was when I left off. So it's where uh, it's a case of where the heck are we and where are we going? And I don't even remember. I should have paid more attention before I got started on this. <laughs> oh, my autofocus. Let me fix that. That was one thing I forgot to fix. Hang on. So, yes, that is, where is that? Let me fix that. Let me get that focus better. Okay, that should fix that. There, better? That should be better. Should be much better. Okay, so where was I? Let me move my chart just a little bit closer so I can see as I make all the noise to figure out where we are exactly. <laughs> okay, I think I know. Okay, that's where we're. No, that's not where we're going. Oh, maybe that's where we're going. Yeah, that's where we're going, I think. Yep, that's where we're going. So now that you've all seen a, a hint of this pattern, it's ridiculously crazy. <laughs> Sorry about that. I meant to fix my auto... When I move my laptop to other rooms, I have to fix my camera settings every time I plug my cameras back in, and I totally forgot to do that. Thank you, thank you. I'm excited to jump back into this one because I haven't worked on it since the last time I worked on it on stream. And now we get to see whether the placement of my pattern is actually going to be feasible or not. So just a little bit of a test going on here. And I do apologize in advance for any sniffling. I just got over a cold and with that cold, I've been having a little bit of allergy problems. So. There we go. We'll try that again. All right. All right. Here we go. So, yeah, I live in this constant state of allergies. It's really not that much fun. But my allergies aren't as bad as they used to be. They used to be a lot worse, and then I had a baby, and now my body chemistry's changed. And it's really interesting how that works sometimes. So, let's 
trying to get my placement right on camera so I'm not so I'm in this scene and everything's going on so it's still a little bit of trial and error going on here until we figure out what works the best so please tell me if I'm out of frame or any of that crazy stuff Welcome, and thank you for the host. I'm just going to drop all the tools. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, yeah, I know what you mean, Hikari. Aller I have allergies almost year-round because of living in Southern California, and things bloom all the time. So, Luckily, it hasn't been too, too bad. It's really early or super late where you are, Pete. I can never quite remember. And thank you for the host, Saren. I know you're dinnering, so you're just chatting right now. But thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, so once I figure out exactly how my commute is going and everything, I'm going to actually get a stream schedule posted. Right now things are a little bit wonky because I'm figuring out how to take the, how the train scheduling works. It's really early. Why are you up, Pete? I, okay, I was up at 2 o'clock this morning so I could get to work on time, so I'm not one to judge. But I started work at 5.15 in the morning. And I will say, uh, I'm sorry, Pete. Well, I'm glad that you could tune in despite not being able to sleep. So the plan this weekend is Saturday. <laughs> yeah, 2 a.m. is stupid early. Well, I start work at 5.15. I'm because of how I have to park I have I my goal is to be in my in the parking lot an hour before my shift starts so I need to leave a half hour before my shift starts plus I have to do stuff in the morning so that the baby's ready when I when my husband wakes up yeah so when all is said and done I um, just got up at two o'clock in the morning and it was not so wonderful but it was nice and quiet but so if scheduling goes, um, I'm not going to stream tomorrow because my husband and I have an event out um, back where we used to live, and that means that we're going to have an early morning, and since we're going to have an early morning, that means I need to go to bed at a reasonable hour tomorrow. So no stream tomorrow, but depending on how things go... Um, probably will move Wednesday from a stream day only because with the move um, the fencing practice that's convenient to me now is on Wednesday nights so I will probably be doing that and we might do a stream on Tuesday <laughs> reasonable but on um, Sunday we're going to do some more unpacking and settling so that um, I can do more than just cross stitch on stream we can do other exciting things on stream uh, there's painting planned, there's Lego planned, <coughs> pardon me, um, Cujo and I are going to be doing um, a date night streams, we're going to be playing Mi the Mist Saga, we're starting with Mist, so if you've never played Mist, this may be the stream you want to tune into and check out. Um, we, um, I have played Mist. I have beaten Mist a couple times, but I have forgotten a lot of it. So it's we're going to be playing like you've never played it before. And if you're in chat, we'll definitely take your input. We're going to ask, of course, no spoilers and no hints unless we ask for it. And my husband will probably dive into a bit of the lore because he's read a lot of the books that went with that. So that'll be fun. 
after the baby goes to bed, we'll have date night with Kaya and Cujo playing uh, Mist and the rest of those games. That may start as early as next week. It may not. It's hard to say exactly. Now, looking at my pattern, I'm realizing it's not going to work where it is, so I'm going to have to figure out a new place for it. But we will figure that one out. So maybe if I put it there for now. This is a bummer. I liked it there. So we'll see. We'll, we will play it by ear in terms of... I have to rearrange this whole desk at some point. So let's see where we're going. Okay. Okay. Figuring out where my color goes next. Oh no. Zeke, you're not supposed to wake up yet. Yeah, I'll probably be taking a break within the next half hour as soon as I get the 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 look from the husband and it's time for the baby to go to lay down. <laughs> Sorry about the sniffles. Again, it's the end of my cold combined with the allergies. It's been fun. I did finish my fish today, or actually early this morning. I finished the page of the fish I was on, so yay! And I was able to start my spring garden club part, which will only work, do until about noon tomorrow, and then I will have the next part of Into the Jungle. They did give us a sneak peek, looks like we're doing cockatoos, but they really wanted an elephant or a monkey. They didn't want cockatoos. So we'll play that by ear in terms of everything. Let's see. I swear, I sh my, my hair sheds so much that I stitch it all into my cross stitch, which makes things very interesting. I see what I'm doing. So next week I will be setting up a, up for donations because it's been decided that we must have a doggo cam on stream and I need another camera for that and it's not quite in my budget now. Uh, so we will be doing a doggo cam donation setup so that everyone who decides they need to see Keish on screen just sleeping we will make that happen. You have the same idea where you want to merge silk screening with normal Ada dying for a project. I don't see why not, Bundnets. They're, um, they're, I don't remember what company does it, but there's this, this polka dotted fabric that looks like they silk screen the polka dots on. For the for Ada, that looks really cute. Yes, we're gonna have a doggo on. We're gonna have a doggo cam. It'll be the quiche cam with a K. And it will just be her sleeping. I, I guarantee that's what she will do. I think um, Saren's ferret cam is more exciting than quiche cam will be. Let's see. Just trying to see where I'm going. Where was I? Okay. Yeah. I've done silk screening, but it was way like many, many, many long time ago, back 
when dinosaurs roam the earth. So I've never, I don't have any of that set up at all. And Zeke, oh yes, go feed Zeke. Lurk away, of course. I appreciate you just being here. I wish my nose would stop running, though. Pardon me, I am going to get a Kleenex. Sorry about that. Just driving me crazy. I will say it is kind of strange having all this quiet now in <laughs> in my stream space. It's like it's so quiet. So no more squealing baby in the background. She's currently not allowed in this room. There's stuff that she could break. if I look at exactly what I'm doing. No, abundance, you're fine. I appreciate you even being here. Lurk away. I get it. You've got to do stuff. Please, lurk if you need to. I, I understand. Abundance, have you seen my um, my emote yet? It's a duck. This is my rampant duck. I drew it because they told me I could not have a rampant duck. And I wanted a rampant duck, so I drew one. And now I'm using him on Twitch because there are no rules against rampant ducks on Twitch. Big thanks to Fatal for cleaning up the artwork and making it into an emote for me. It's so cute. So the move went well. We're in this new place. It's it's kind of it's finally starting to feel like home. It's finally not feeling so weird anymore, which is nice. It is. I wish I could give you guys the full walking tour. It is kind of amazing. It's it's really cozy and huge and everything all at once. But for now, you get to see a little bit of my streaming room. And then once we get doggo cam going, we will have doggo streaming. <laughs> Fatel does great work. I've got, I've got my second one is she was her kind of surprise. She added hearts to it. So here's the duck with hearts. I have to come up with my third. I know what I want for my third one. I just have to get the artwork to Fatel. <laughs> hey Fatel, speak of the devil, and she appears.
can we put a GoPro on your doggo? My husband actually tried to put a GoPro on the doggo, and she completely flipped out. It was kind of, he said it was kind of weird. He gave her a vest to wear a, do a GoPro because he wanted to, her point of view while she was running. And she just did not. <laughs> she didn't want to have anything to do with it. Think, think an altar ball is going to be enough for Fatal? I think we may need a master ball for her. Let's see. This is the hard part, is trying to figure out exactly where I am. I know Saren feels my pain with, with this kind of stitching. Let's see, this is this color. Okay. So. That is okay. <laughs> yeah, I know how that one is. Wait until Cujo comes and knocks on the door. <laughs> yes, hey elf. Yes, ruffle butt. We are fully into the ruffle butt. It might have been the vest, but it's we think. Um, and this kind of happened when we put Keisha's um, blue cape on her. She was a completely different dog. And we were wondering if it comes down for when she was actually on the racetrack. Because the dogs would wear the capes and the muzzles for racing. And I'm wondering if that just put her into that mindset. Like, okay, we're going to the track. We're going to the box. We're going to go run. And that just that's why she freaked out. Because it reminded her of that or something. So... We don't know. But since then, we have, um, for lack of better terms, forced Keish to wear her, um, her cape. And it's actually, she's gotten used to it and she's willing to relax in it and lay down where before she was like, I am here, I am ready to go, what are we doing, why are we not doing it? the thing? So it took her a little bit. I don't know if it's traumatic or not, just... It's, it kind of reminded me of, um, I have a cousin who's legally blind, and the first time I met her guide dog, I met him when he wasn't working, so he's just a regular dog hanging out, but the moment he put his harness on, they put his harness on him, he was a completely different dog, he was working. So I'm wondering if it's that same mindset where this is where I'm doing my job versus this is when I'm not doing my job. It took us a long time to break her of willing, being willing to lay down when she was on a lead because I'm pretty sure that they were used to, whenever they're on a, a leash, is that they're going to to and from the track, to and from the racing line, so it would be completely different. So it took her a while, but now she's just a funny old dog. He's a good puppers. And she's not in here with me right now because we do need another dog bed. <coughs> Pardon me. And and get another dog bed for in here and then another dog bed for her kennel and then we will be set on dog beds because we have hardwood floor in this entire place and that's not good for her to lay only on hardwood floor we got to give her squishy spots Okay, I 
think that's the rest of that color for now. Let's see if I'm missing anything. I think that's about it in that color for now. And then I'm going to have to figure out what color to go to next. I should be getting a couple packages tomorrow. I should be getting a package from 123 Stitch with some of the specialty threads I needed for my Biscornu. And I should be getting fabric from Naka tomorrow as well. Though the hard part is be deciding whether I should wait to open it, to see it, or I should wait to open it on stream and show it, do an unboxing. So I'm, I'm kind of in that dilemma right now. What is that symbol? I have a list of symbols, and why can't I find the 317? There we go. That's what I was looking for. Could not find the symbols I was looking for. I really am liking this new setup. I have a, I have a lot more space. I'm not confined find <coughs> to my dining room table which is where I was streaming before now I am in my own little office I have no patience I open up before stream yeah I, I'm a kind of in that boat I'm like Cause I did a um, I got to do the custom order from Naka, so it's nothing that we've seen yet, and I really like. Oh my gosh, I want to see this, and at the same time, I'm like, I want to open it on stream, cause I want to do an unboxing, and yeah, I'm having I'm having a dilemma. Especially since I'm not going to stream tomorrow. Can I really wait until next week to open a package with my name on it? That's where it becomes a problem. Let's see where... I did just look where we were going, and I completely just blanked. So now I'm actually filling in some horse butt behind these flowers. It's okay, Fatal. Take care of Atticus. It's just, you know, understandable. Sometimes you just have to be a mom. Yeah, I'm waiting for the, the knock on the door from my husband. Yeah, I get you, Sarah, and I was like, I want to see it, but I want to show it off. Or do I, I open it and then show it off? Or I go, oh my god, in in, in your your uh, your Discord and, and don't take pictures and let drive everyone crazy. Except for Naka, who knows what it looks like.
and I'm going to get all kinds of stitching time tomorrow on my way to work. I'm taking the train to work, and since I get to sleep in a little bit tomorrow, I don't have to be up at the crack of dawn to take the train to that tomorrow. It's going to be nice. You'd be surprised how much you do and don't give up on this. I was a little worried about giving up you know, some of my crafting and stuff, but um, now that she's older, she's doing more on her own and can entertain herself a little bit more, so. And plus, my husband is pretty good about a lot of, you know, we're balancing who does what and who takes care of what. I do um, take a lot of it because I am breastfeeding, so I, the baby needs me. He cannot give that to her. And since he cannot take care of her that way, I do. he does do more diaper changes and he does do a lot more of that since I'm doing the majority of the feeding. But now that she's actually eating solid foods, it's kind of the balance has shifted a little bit. It's kind of interesting, so. And I'm sure, you know, once, and I know my mom did a lot more stuff as we got older, too, so it's all that balancing. I wouldn't trade her for anything. She's amazing. And I, I look at her and I go, I, I'm a mom. I did that. I made that. But I think I have the right number of kids. I have I have my human kid, I have my fuzzy kid, and then I have my husband kid. But he's not really a kid. He's my partner in all this. And he's yeah. I could gush and gush and gush about how amazing he is, so <laughs> So much color jumping around. Luckily, there's not a whole lot of confetti on this, which is the saving grace, is that it's in little chunks of color, so. Yeah, I don't know if I was ready for another true confetti project. The fish has some little bit of confetti in it. It's mostly the blue jumping around in the water areas of the fish, but I couldn't imagine trying to do a serious confetti project right now. I'm half the time my projects are semi distracted because of the baby, so I don't I totally drive myself crazy with a confetti project. I do have some on the back burner though. Way back burnered. I'm actually, uh, shame on me, I'm already thinking about my next projects, and I haven't even finished the ones I'm on. I've got, so I've got the Summer Carousel Horse, which is my on-stream cross-stitch. I've got the Ocelot, which is, again, is just sitting on the wayside because it drive, it's just, I'm so tired of it. I don't know why it's driving me crazy. I think, I'll figure it out once... And then I've got the two the two year long sows, the one with Saren, and then the one um, with Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. I've got those are caught up. I've got my fish, which I just finished the latest the the page I was on, so I have two more pages plus back stitching to do. And there's not a whole lot of back stitching, so it should go relatively fast. And then 
I'm working on the Spring Garden Club, which is super cute. I'm taking a, a small break from the fish to do the Spring Garden Club. And once that's done, I'll go back to the fish again. Let's see. And that's all of that color for now. It's the one thing that I'm finding frustrating right now about this stitch is that I'm constantly switching colors. Just making sure I hadn't received a text from my husband. Oh, poor, poor elf. I'm sorry, Elf. I wish there was something I could do. But the Pokemon stitch is looking good. Let's see, I just did that. Okay, so what's that? You think, you think it's the allergies, like you were saying? Less than some. 414. So we're moving back into a little bit of the carousel horse. Oh, that's where I put that. If I had misplaced my tree of life keychain, I found it. It was in the box. What color did I say? 414. Okay, there it is. Oh no. So many allergies. Yeah, I think my cold is rolled into allergies, which is no fun. So I'm a little bit sniffly, which is so, oh, so, so pleasant. And I apologize. Yeah, I was sniffling all day at work, which was a lot of fun. So I can honestly say that I've worked on three different cross-stitch projects today. I've worked on this, I've worked on my spring one, I finished up my fish this morning. So yay! And tomorrow I get to work more on the jungle cell. I'm so excited. It's been such a fun stitch. The frosted pumpkin stitchery did the into the jungle cell and it's just, it's so much fun. It stitches up real quick, which is really refreshing when you've got some bigger projects on the go to have something that stitches up so quickly.
<laughs> Welcome back, Hikari. Yeah, I know how the little ones are. I, I feel your pain. It does get a little bit easier as they get bigger, and sometimes it doesn't. So it was. So far, he's not as needy yet at the same time. He's been more demanding. Yeah. In some ways, Annika has gotten the same way. She's super demanding about things. Today, she discovered that she likes. Quesadillas. <coughs> we did quesadillas for dinner and she just loved it. Well, she likes flour tortillas and she likes cheese, so I figured that what we couldn't possibly go wrong with that combination. Okay, so. And actually, after I just put away that gun color, I need to go back to it, because that's the way it works. So we're going to be doing a lot of floss swapping. <laughs> I try. But sometimes like, what do you want? You don't want water, you don't want food, you don't want this, you don't want that. No, you cannot do that right now. Yeah. She sounds like she's having fun. I can hear her through the door. I don't think she's coming through at all through my headset, but... Probably driving my husband crazy. And at the same time, he's enjoying every moment of it. He's a really good dad. No, that's also not what I wanted to do. Gosh darn it, I'm having issues here. There we go, much better. to get myself a bit of a knot. Could you not? So I get for being impatient. somehow making this worse than it needs to be.
come on. There we go. Okay, let's see if I can fix this knot. Yeah, I worked it out, I think. There we go. Well, that was more work than it should have been. Let's try this again. Who's ready for access? I think I have recipes ready for access as a command and timer for tomorrow. Yay! You gonna stream tomorrow, Elf? <laughs> I'm definitely in a position where I can lurk at work tomorrow. And I'm at baking stream with a knee, so chaos. Woohoo! That sounds like fun. I've got to fix my pattern problem. Hang on. I'm going to try something. Let's see if I move the laptop here. Sorry that about that. I'm gonna need to blow my nose again. Again, sorry. Okay, let's see. I got that like that. I don't need that. Let's try this again where I can actually see the pattern. That works. That totally works. I'm not sure how long it's going to, to how long it's going to take to bake cupcakes of using a carrier speed plus altitude. Never used the frosting recipe before in the baking with the young child. It should be interesting. Yeah, that can say that. And where did I put? I'm having all kinds of pretty moments here. Stay. I don't know where my. There's my magnets. Naka, welcome. I'm having problems with my pattern, so I'm just rearranging things so I can actually see what's going on. Okay. So Naka, I have a dilemma. Your package is probably going to arrive tomorrow, and I wanted to open it on stream, but now I, I, I'm going to be impatient and not going to be able to wait. Yes, the ruffle butt is here. I am working, I'm actually on the butt part of the ruffle butt. We are firmly on the butt. I'm just curious what's gonna happen when I'm done with the ruffle butt. If you open it whenever you wanna open it. Aw, thanks Naga. I will have to, sh regardless of when I open it, I will show it off on stream because I'm sure it's gorgeous.
to make sure that I print what I need to print tomorrow at work. So I have my patterns for the Biscornu. Ah, so much stuff. I also have other stuff I have to work on with my stream. I'm half tempted to bring my laptop to work so I can work on some stuff, but I'm also half tempted not to. It's so much. It's like one more thing I have to bring to work. I do have a backpack for my laptop, so that's helpful. Am I finally done with this color now? I think I'm finally done with this color now. For now. I pick it up more down below. Okay. So. More ruffle butt. Let's see if I can pick up some more ruffles to go with the ruffly butt. see if I can figure out what color that is. This is the hard part with, with these patterns, is finding out exactly what this little gap that I might have missed was. So... You really want to finish with the black on your butterfly, Sal. And then you took a nap after the kids went to bed. Oops. That sounds like an oops to me. Let's see. So here... Okay, what symbol is that? <sighs> this is the problem with this chart, is trying to see exactly what symbol that is. I think that's a six. That looks like a six. What is six? I'm just picking up some missed stitches here and there. I'm going to sleep good tonight when I finally get to bed because I've been up way too long because I'm crazy. I should also shut my computer down when I go to bed, and I can move it first thing in the morning for testing and fun stuff. Yeah, totally. Kind of excited to see this stream. else I can pick up in this color that's convenient? No. So I picked up that color for literally one stitch. I love Teresa Wensler! I want cupcakes. Can I get cupcakes? There are no cupcakes here. 
I seriously thought about getting ice cream. I totally should have gotten ice cream at the grocery store, and I didn't because I was being a responsible adult. which my husband was disappointed when I said I didn't get ice cream. He's like, why not? I go, because I was being responsible. 842. Because we didn't really need ice cream, even though I wanted ice cream. 842. basically went to the store to get something for dinner and some dishwasher retur detergent because I haven't had a dishwasher in over six years, which is kind of a nice thing. Yeah. Ice cream is often a need, yes. I looked at the ice cream. It called my name and I ignored it. Yay, more ruffles. Back into the ruffle butt. This is the annoying, frustrating part where I'm just picking up random colors and filling in stuff. <laughs> Yay! Ingredients to make cupcakes. That's it. We're all going to an elf's house to have cupcakes. cupcakes. Are they chocolate cupcakes? Because chocolate's the best kind of cupcake. <laughs> Alright, so...
I've got to blow my nose and I'm going to do it without um, being on stream. I will be right back. Alright, sorry about that. I'm going crazy with my nose. It's the tail end of the cold combined with the allergies. <sighs> Let's try this again. Slowly picking away at the ruffle butt. I just don't know what I'm going to call my streams after I finish the ruffle butt. Then it's going to be kind of like no more ruffle butt. Figure out a new thing. <laughs> Ruffle about a history class. <laughs> taken to um, tickling Annika and she just squeals in delight. It's kind of funny. But poor Zeke not understanding what's going on. Aw, uh, mommy and daddy are being weird. Well, it is, it is our job as parents to embarrass our small children and our older children as they get older. My dad makes me roll my eyes half the time. Go. 
Oh. <laughs> no, I. Nothing that we are doing is making Annika cry right now, which is probably good. Though she thinks eating my leg is a good idea, she kind of just goes over and starts throwing a nom on it. I'm like, sweetheart, seriously. Legs are not for nomming. It was cute when she didn't have teeth. Now that she's got bottom teeth, it's not so cute anymore. <laughs> Annika has tried to eat my toes a few times and now which was cute and again now that she has teeth not so cute Mommy digits are for numbing, right? Yeah, totally for numbing until they get teeth, and then they're not for numbing anymore. Yes, definitely. Ow. But mom, I have the nom on you. You are tasty and you are delicious. It's like, no, sweetheart, you do not have to nom on your mom. We call them bitey monsters when they're so desperate to bite down on stuff. Yes, they're little bitey monsters. Just gonna nom 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 on all the stuff. Yay! Go elf! I've always said she feels like soft food, so it must be food. No, not food. Mom is not for foods. I'm guessing Final Fantasy, since it's not something I'm familiar with. <laughs> oh, the curse of, curse of inventory space. 
It's that way in every game that I've ever played. I'm out of inventory space, now what do I do? Yeah, I'm actually getting to do more than, uh, than just color, just like a small section in this color. I can get to jump around a little more. Yay! I wish this chart wasn't so hard to read. There we go. Center the camera a bit more. I'm trying to get my perfect placement here so that I'm in frame, the, the stitching's in frame. I'm sure it's all trial and error forever until it works. to play very much WoW since the move. Hopefully soon. There's so much going on. I just can't wait till we're settled completely and then we can kind of get everything done. Yeah, I get you, Naka. I, um, I can fly around for hours in World of Warcraft and just gather herbs or gem or um, mining or something like that. It's just kind of fun. It's even more fun when you can beat someone else to a node. what symbol that is. I 
think it's a K. We're going to say it's a K. I usually do most of my movie watching with while cross stitching, which at first drove my husband crazy, and then he realized that I was actually paying attention to the movie, and how he lets me cross stitch while we watch movies under the couch. I must stab the fabric, or else I will <coughs> get too stabby. that are easy to figure out. Oh, pardon me. Nope. Well, we leave. I leave a light on, yes. Otherwise, my husband would have me, uh, me being upset <laughs> that I couldn't stitch. down Y thing. Four thirty seven. It's always nice when the color you're looking for is right on top. I want to get more into the ruffles. I want to do more ruffles. I'm doing boring stuff.
Actually know what a Moogle is. That's because I played um, Kingdom Hearts. problems telling what symbol that is. Okay, now I can tell what it is. Wow. Some of these symbols, I swear. I love when my counting f matches up.
think I'm going to finish up this color and then I'm going to call it a night. I'm starting to get tired. My yeah, yay, small party, woohoo. Yeah, I am realizing the fact that I have been up since two o'clock this morning is starting to catch up with me. I'm like, oh, I should go to sleep. Sleep sounds like a good idea. I get to sleep in a little bit tomorrow. Which is always nice. Like, yeah, I get a little, do a little bit of sleeping in. <sighs> yeah, I know that. I just had my brain was going a million miles a minute. So I couldn't go to sleep yet. Hey Cujo, I was just going to finish this color and then think about coming out and heading to bed. How's the baby doing? She's been very good. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing if the baby's been very good. It's getting up past your bedtime. I was expecting to have had to take a break like an hour ago. I hear her talking out there. That's better. Okay.
no, elf. That's not good. We don't need itchy eyes. There, I finally found where this little bit of cross-country stitching has taken me. For the night. I want to thank everyone for joining me here. Like, sorry, I got a little quiet toward the end. I was trying to think of things to say and my brain just kept focusing on the stitching, which means it's probably time for me to go to bed. So, I, oh, we got a little bit done. We got some of the gray in here and some of this brown. So, it's slowly plugging along. Um, will not be streaming tomorrow night. I am not sure what my stream schedule looks like next week. I have to talk with Cujo and see what things line up. I've got some early shifts. Pardon me. So I can't always stream after my early shifts because I have to get up early the next morning sometimes. But um, I will get my stream schedule out as soon as I figure it out. Um, my schedule should be stabilizing hopefully in the next couple weeks because I've changed my preferences so that I can take the train to work. Yay! Train to work! Yay! When's date night? We're thinking um, might be next week, maybe next Friday, depending on how things go. I'll, we've got a couple more things. Oh no, Bunnets, it's all, it's, it's fine. Yeah, a date night we will figure out. Um, I have to talk with Cujo. I know we have to figure out which of my two cameras we have to borrow because we're actually going to do date night in the living room. We, 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 we test ran the setup. We basically, it takes two laptops and a TV and it all works. But um, that being said, I am going to call it a night. I want to thank everyone for stopping by and for joining me. And I know my next stream will be sometime next week. Um, maybe Sunday night if something works out. I'm not sure. Just stay tuned. So have a good night, everyone. I want to thank you all for joining me. Um, don't stay up too late and all that usual stuff. Stay out of trouble. And have a good night.